Hey, what's up, people? So, Base recently dropped $250 worth of ether to some wallets that participated in their quest, and about 500 wallets received an NFT. Right now, Base has an ongoing quest for developers or builders on their testnet, and only builders who have completed the quest and minted the testnet NFT will be eligible for the mainnet NFT. The mainnet NFT might have so much utility and value. We don't know yet, but from the look of things, it may have so much utility. And in today's video, I want to show you how to deploy a smart contract on base as a developer or a builder. Let's go. <laughs> base support Coinbase wallet extension and Metamax wallet extension. So you can decide to use any of them when you get your coinbase wallet or metamax wallet you need to copy out your wallet address and come straight to girlyfaucet.com and request for some girly eater for testnet interaction a lot of you already know how to do this now that you have your girly eater you need to come straight to bridge.base.org and connect your wallet my wallet is connected and it says i should switch network it means i'm going to be bridging from girly eater into base Goyly. If you don't have the base network added into your wallet already, you head straight to chainlist.org and search for base. Here it is. Just go ahead and add to Metamax and confirm in your wallet. Then the base wallet will have been added into your Metamax. Otherwise, I'm going to drop the RPC in the description so you can copy from there and add manually. I'll enter an amount okay and then I'll click on deposit it. Once again, I want to remind you if you're here to download the Fire app, please do so ASAP. I'm also going to be leaving the link in the description to download this app. And for those of you that are already using it, I trust you are enjoying this application. Okay, so I'll confirm the transaction. Waiting for confirmation, so be patient. Transaction is confirmed. 0.01 ETA is going to land into our base wallet. All right, let's go to the next stage. Here, we're going to create the contract which we're going to deploy into base. You have to pay close attention right now. So instead of using ERC20, we're going to use ERC721. So click on it. Beneath it, you're going to see name. You have to change the name or you leave it at what it is. For me, I'm going to change it into Crypto Prince. I call it Crypto Prince 100K, which is the name of my token. Next, I need to add the symbol. I'll do just that. The symbol for me is CPK. Okay. The next thing you have to do is to click on Mintable. Now we have generated a contract which we are going to deploy on base. So go ahead and copy this contract. And next we head straight to remix.ethereum.org, which is where we're going to deploy our base contract. This is Remix, and a lot of you are already familiar with it. So we're going to create a new file. So click on it and enter any name of your choice. For example, I'm going to go for base 2.0. Okay, and I'll click next. I have a blank space. And here I'm going to paste in the contract we just created. Okay, this is it. And I have these promptings, but I'm going to OK it. After this, we'll go straight to solidity.compiler. Click on this. And next, you're going to compile base2.so. And that is successfully compiled. Next, we go straight to deploy and run transactions. Hope you can see it very well. Click on it. All right, we look good, but then we have to change the environment into injected provider, which is likely to give you a prompting to connect your Metamax. But it doesn't happen with everyone. Now, you have to make sure you are on the base network. Head straight to your Metamax and switch from Goyle Eater into the base network. The next thing we have to do is to click on Deploy. Go ahead and do that. And next, you confirm the transaction in your Metamax. Click on it. We have successfully deployed the transaction. You can see the block transaction index below here. And you can see my name, Crypto Prince 100K, which is the name of my token. And on this other side, you will see deployed contracts and also Crypto Prince 100K. This is our contract address right beside my name. I'm going to copy this contract address because we're going to use it to verify our contract with base, after which we'll go ahead to claim the base testnet nft so copy it right away now we head straight to quest.base.org here it is go ahead and connect your wallet select metamax or coinbase whichever you're using we are successfully connected and you see it starts quest click on it 
you can read the terms of service and go ahead to agree with them then continue scroll down you're going to see continue again and here it says deploy contract on testnet so you're going to enter the smart contract address which you copied from remix.ethereum.org hope you remember that go ahead and paste it in here and click on verify transaction look at what it says nice work this is a valid smart contract it means you've got the right smart contract go ahead and click on continue and it says you did it means your nft here we're going to meet our base testnet nft which is going to make us eligible to claim the mainnet nft okay click on mint nft then confirm in your wallet look at that nft claimed successfully so this is exactly how to deploy a contract on the base testnet this nft looks good i love it already and finally what we have to do next is to join the base testnet guild perform their layer 3 tasks and also purchase the base introduced nft and this is applicable to you if only you didn't mint it when they launched the base testnet this is base guild try to get all the role if you can if you take a look you will see that i have four out of the five rows i'm trying to see how to get this very last one if it's still possible head straight to layer three and you will see the intro to base quest this quest was introduced at the early stage when base testnet was launched and you will see that i have completed the stage already but if you're here to do this just go ahead and perform the task okay and finally if you couldn't mint the base testnet nft at launch you can go ahead and buy right away from OpenSea. it is known as base introduced and is currently trading at 0.0027 ether just scroll down and pick any one of your choice and purchase if you don't have it already with that i believe you are set and good to go all right so this is exactly what i wanted to show you today if you got value from this video please smash the like button and share this video already i want to say a very big thank you to every one of you for your support and love i'll see you in my next one and don't forget we are going to make it bye